there's quite a few projects who are working in the field of yeah, particularly then refugee in integration who they come to us and they're like, oh, we have, we have like, we got money for this project and like we're going to interview a lot of women and like we're going to do this and that and like we have a. Uh, empowerment business uh, blue de blah but they don't uh, actually know anybody and they were like eh, where do we find people and it's like well and then they come to us and like ask us like where do we find people and we're like well maybe you would have found the people first and like talk to them and see what the needs are instead of like just do creating a huge project and then like reaching out to the participants the last thing if you think about like going going into like a already set up uh, established a refugee shelter you just have to and set up a project there you just have to deal with a lot of bureaucracy that's just like a big part of it and that bureaucracy is also changing almost every week and that's also but that's also again you're a part of the process with the with the people living there because it's changing for them every week as well so it, it kind of puts you on the same level as as them i think that when it comes to all those organizations and social startups that are out there now i think um, it would definitely help uh, to have i mean there are a lot of umbrella organizations now that sort of want to bring everyone to one table um, but um, to really see what's already there and then uh, focus power and um, time into those that are already there instead of everyone who wants to make a contribution starting their own organization and their own project and build an app it's sometimes not just uh, motivated future entrepreneurs but also companies who thought like this is our time to make a contribution let's build an app and then they see well it's been there five times before and nobody needed it and now it's there six times so um, the better way would have been to look at what's there and who can use our help, which of those products, projects do we like, and how can we help them? Maybe by, with, obviously with money, but also with expertise, um, maybe offering their employees to, to help uh, volunteer in those, in those organizations. And I think that, that it's always very easy to, to somehow help. I mean, you, you can just join one of those organizations for two hours a week and, and help them promote their offer, like HiMate. I mean, we always need people going to the camps and connecting, and that's the simplest way. You don't need to build an app or a, a new organization that you then, uh, I don't know, become sort of a competition for those that, uh, that are already there.